My name is Kent Honda, and I'm an ordinary college student. Recently, I've been into cooking, so I often cook dinner for myself instead of my parents who are always late at coming home. Oh, Kent, is it curry today? Please remove the carrots from my plate. Just eat the carrots without complaining. No, I don't want to. Carrots aren't delicious. They taste like crayons. That doesn't make sense at all. This is how I often get involved by the antics of my sister and her friends. My younger sister Yuka was originally a quiet girl, but she suddenly became a delinquent. That might have happened because she entered high school and the environment around her changed. I was surprised that not only her appearance, but also her personality became brighter. It has been a delight for me as her brother that my sister is having a good time. That being said, why does my sister's friend also interact with me, a dull guy? These delinquents are too extroverted for me to keep up and understand. Huh? Are you excited, Kent? When we cook together in the kitchen like this, it seems like we are living together, right? No, I'm not thinking about that. Oh, come on! Should we wear an apron and cook for my unpopular brother? Does this make you feel like we're living together? Oh, that's funny. Then I want you to teach me how to hold a knife so that you can hug me from behind. S shut up! Please get away! I'm using the fire! <laughs> He's embarrassed! I'm looking forward to the curry! <sighs> Whew! I finished simmering the curry anyway. By the way, why does Yuka's friend routinely eat dinner at our home? Well, I'm already used to it, so it's okay. I have some free time until dinner, so maybe I'll relax here for a while. Oh, it's 7 o'clock. Okay, we're about to eat curry. What? Hello, Yuka's older brother. Can I join you? Huh? One more of Yuka's friends? I heard that you're going to treat us with curry, so I came rushing in. Oh, really? It doesn't feel bad when she says that. Maybe I'm blessed with an environment where I can serve girls my home cooking, no matter what they say. Oh, my brother's jaw has dropped to the floor. Hey, don't say such a stupid thing. Because Mary is so cute. Hey, stop saying that. Mary is cute for sure, but that doesn't mean I look at Yuka's friend like that. And if I remember correctly, Yuka said that Mary is the strongest delinquent in their school. Hi, Brother Kent. Don't stare at me too much. Hey, I'm not looking at you. Hey, we're going to be eating curry, so wash your hands right away. Yes! yes. They're so obedient that they don't really seem like delinquents. Well, it's good to be well behaved. After that, we got to eat delicious curry. Yuka and others seemed to want to play games or something at a different place after dinner. So they were eating the curry in high spirits from beginning to end. That was a feast! Thank you, Kent! The curry was nice today, too! Oh, be careful out there and be sure to have a good time. I'll come again. Oh, please make some Japanese cuisine next time. I want the fish to be salmon, please. I want yellowtail. Also, please change the miso soup to pork soup. Please don't make requests of dinner at someone else's house. Well, they're stormy delinquent high school students. I'll make them grilled fish next time. I have to cook dinner today, and I have to think about a recipe. I was requested to make Japanese food, but I wonder if Mary will come. Huh? Hi, Yuka's brother. It's early in the afternoon. Did you skip your college classes? Today's lecture is over. Besides, you're the one who skips classes. I'm not skipping. I'm just recharging my energy. Ah, so it's not what you say, but how you say it. Hey, Mary, what is with that sitting posture? Huh? What do you mean? This is normal, right? That's not normal at all. Vulgar. But I'm wearing something underneath. No. You're cute, so it would be bad to degrade your dignity by doing those actions. Huh? Am I cute? Yeah, you are cute. That's why if you don't correct your sitting style now, you'll have a hard time in college. But don't delinquents normally sit like this? Mary, in the coming few years, there will come a time when you want to forget all the time you spent sitting like that. Huh? There's no such thing. Do you have any dark history when you were in middle school? Well, uh, there are a lot of things, like dancing during breaks, longing for idols. When you enter college, you'll feel the same regret. No way, but I'm already 17 years old. I'm almost an adult. 
One of my seniors seems to have not escaped from the influence of his dark times, even after the age of 25. Is that so powerful? That when I turn 25 and I could only see myself in the past? The only thing you'll do is bury your face in a pillow and roll around. Oh no! How ruthless, Kent! What should I do? Can I still make it? Yeah, you still have time. Your delinquent behavior may not be easy to cure because it's a long-standing habit. But if you make an effort, I'm sure you will get over it. It will take time, but I'll help you too. Kent, do you think about me that much? Oh yeah. It doesn't mean anything. It's just because you're one of my sister's friends. I like you. Huh? I like you, Kent. Until now, no adult has paid attention to me. And yet you have treated me so sincerely. No, it's not such a big deal. By the way, please get away from me. If someone sees us, it's going to be a lot of trouble. Why? It's okay. You're only 18 years old, right? No, it's not about that issue. If anyone sees us in our neighborhood... Hmm, Kent? My brother? I feel like there is something big going on. Oh, the timing is really bad. Oh no, you're both misunderstanding the situation. I'm not. But Kent, you've been looking at Mary for a long time. Really? Then isn't it a mutual love? Don't say that. It's going to become even more confusing. I managed to clear myself of the misunderstanding. After all, they wanted to have dinner at my house today too. All I had to do was to make it for everyone. Dinner is about to be ready, so please prepare your plates. Yes. Hey brother, why do you want to go out with Mary? Don't talk about that anymore. But you two look perfect together. If you miss this chance, you'll be alone for the rest of your life. Will you be okay with that? Don't say such a scary thing. Gee, I should have tried appealing to him more. What? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, isn't Yuka's brother really cool? I've also been quite interested in him. Huh? Really? Yeah, well, the only one problem is that he's so thin that even I can win in a fight against him. I can't deny that. Mary may be a delinquent, but I'm pretty happy to hear that she said that. Then, are you my rival? Huh? No, I wasn't serious about that, so don't worry. So you mean you just wanted to flirt with him? What should I do? No matter what I say, it's just going to get more confusing. Even though my opponent is my best friend, there will be times when I will have to fight. Oh my gosh, Mary is in a battle mode. Please help me, Kent. Mary entering this mode is really dangerous. Come on, Kent, stop them. I don't know what's going on, but fighting is not good. Ouch! Hey, calm down. Kent! Don't try to hit your friend, and please just listen to her. I'm sorry. I can't believe that Mary just suddenly became quiet. Honestly, I imagined that this would end up with my brother never being able to walk. Is Mary's battle mode really that scary? I'm sorry, Kent. Are you going to start hating me? No way. I'm not going to hate you for this. Besides, I told you I'm going to help correct your attitude over time, right? Kent, I really like you. Hey, okay, just don't stick so close to me. Oh well, at least this case is settled. Right, let's have dinner now. I haven't even solved this problem yet. This is how I ended up spending days correcting Mary's delinquent behavior. After several dates all for the sake of correcting her behavior, I was drawn to Mary's innocent personality. Her delinquent-like appearance and ugly behavior improved every time we met. A few months later, I finally confessed to Mary. Mary, I like you. Please go out with me. Of course, with pleasure. It was really nice to meet you, Kent. Finally, Mary and I became lovers. It's just an aside, but Mary's past seems to have become a dark history for her. Look at you sitting like a delinquent. Don't show me that! Thank you for watching again. It would make me so happy if we could watch another rom-com story together. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye!